we win. As Ugandans, as a country, we are known to be polite, we are known to be hospitable. That's our game, and we win. That's our motto. Win a global award was something huge for firstly the association. And nowadays after winning that award, it is easy for us to walk into any school because we work with schools. It's easy for us to speak to any teacher for any assistance and we actually get whatever we want in record time. So it has helped us in short build relationships with all our stakeholders. Most people don't know that women play cricket. So when you talk about it, they're like, what do you mean women play cricket? I'm like, yes, we played cricket. We are the third in Africa and 18 in the world. What? Are you serious? Yes, I am very serious. We are the third in Africa and we are going to the World Cup. We don't look at just going and working with these girls and that's it but we always give them hope. It's always good to sell hope. When you look at the combinations, when you look at the composition of our teams for both the youth and the women, you realize that most of them are from communities that number one, are very beaten, uh, communities that are very, very poor, and they need something to hold on to. And that's what cricket has given them. So now we've introduced more schools to the sport and they are very welcoming. Uh, we have uh, people coming up to start academies. Uh, we have Soroti Academy, for example, and it's predominantly girls. I've played cricket for long, from 2009 till date. I started with my mini cricket, then I finally joined the hard cricket in high school. Up to now, I still play cricket, and what I enjoy most in cricket is winning matches and playing for my country. Soroti and uh, Gulu and the Western region as well. They are coming up so well and they are, they are producing cricketers who are able to compete. For me, that is what is really impressing me at the moment. I think cricket is in a good space right now. A sport gives us uh, so many uh, pluses, discipline, uh, self self-confidence, esteem and you know all sorts of things that we need that the class won't teach you. So the growth is, is just amazing and you look at, when you look at uh, when you're selecting the national team for example, now we have, like, we have a very good problem. We have many that have come through, we just need to know how to integrate all of them. I think for us the target is clear. We are targeting at ODI status. So that is just the end result but then you get focus on the process. So everything we are doing around the people the technology and systems is all pointed towards that. So we are sure come 2022, when we fully open, we should be able to have more cricket happening and a lot of sustainability with impact going as uh, a sport for cricket. Mm -hmm.